Hi everyone, in this video I want to talk about Linguis. This is a multilingual translation plugin, also for WordPress, and it can be also integrated with some other platforms. And I have tested out this plugin, and actually I consider it a good plugin because the translations are, are also pretty accurate and it's really fast, the translations. There's, you can save a lot of time with this plugin. You can check out all the information here that they have. And also I will do a short talk about the prices because this is also a, as you keep growing, you might need to improve your plan. So for example, if you go from 100,000 words and you go over, you might have to jump to the pro plan. So this is their pricing. And for this automatic translation that are artificially intelligent intelligence translations, this is are more like a pay as you go. So I consider a price okay, almost similar to Wiglot's pricing, but they do have some difference. And to show how it works here, I have this test page on WordPress. So you can just simply go as any other plugin to add new, then you just search for lingua, linguist and then you just install. So once it is activated, you can have here the tab and you will have to add your API key. You can register here for free at Linguise. I already have done the registering and you can add your domain so that you can have this API. You add your domain. Here will be some recommendations since this is a test dummy website. Now I don't have the protocols or the www, but it is mainly recommended. Also, you can give here your account name and select the original language, which in this case I will use English. You can choose the languages that you want to translate to. So in this case, I will just keep Spanish because in the following up of the video, I will show you how to add the other languages. And also another important thing is to translate URLs. This is actually recommended also not for only user experience so that they can read the URL in their own language, but also it has a little bit impact on the SEO. Then you will have your API key. You will just copy and go back to the WordPress and just apply it. So we see here that we have our website or original language in English. You can have here the language list preview and English and Spanish. Also, if you don't want to add the language, the language switcher directly on the WordPress menu, you can create some short code or PHP snippet. But in this case, I will just add it on the WordPress menu. Also, another important thing that it's recommended for the international SEO is to have the alternate links tags or the so-called HRE flanks. These are important so that you can say to crawlers that there is a copy of the page, not a duplicate, it's a copy in another language. And also here you can choose how you want to show the language switcher, side by side, drop down, or with a pop-up. And also if you just want the name, the flag, and so on, and if you want to do some more modifications, you can do it here. Once it's saved, you will have to go here to the menu so that you can add the language switcher on the main menu. In this case, I will just add it and we have it here and I just save. So I go here to the main page. As you can see, I have here the menu and I will just update and I will have here the English language. As you can see here, this is the dummy page from Elementor. So actually you can use it from most of the page builders. 
and I will just switch it to Spanish. And there you go. As fast as just some clicks and probably less than five minutes, as in other videos from Linguis, they say, you can actually have your translated text. So I have here this dummy page. I will have these other ones. I have it here in Spanish. I have here again the language switcher. And I have it now in English. So highly recommended this language because it's really fast. And as you can see, really easy to set up. Also, we can go here to the language dashboard so that you can see the trans number of translated words, the bandwidth and the requests. You can also set up some rules if you want to add words or phrases that you don't want to translate exactly. These are made for certain types of brand names or any other type of word that it might be also in English or in another language. You can also set up here the words that you don't want to translate. Here in translations, you can see directly one to one some of the words. So in case that you want to translate it directly here from the table, you can do it or search here. Also in the URL translation that it's, I consider this an advantage on Linguis over Wiglot that here on Linguis from the very early plan, you can actually do this on Wiglot. You will have to pay for the advanced plan. So this is an advantage from Linguis. You can change here the URLs. You can just change here. Let's say just for example, I just want to delete that word and just save. That will make that override. Or also if you want to have the open live editor, you can just choose the language here and translate so that you can translate directly from the front end. So let's say here, read more in Spanish, le mas, or let's say here they have a, a mistake and you have to add an accent here. So I will just save and all of the same strings will be translated the same. Or if you want to translate some other phrases, you can just do it here directly. Also, in case that you want to translate the metadata, you can do it here from the meta title or the translation. It also does it automatically, but also you can do it here from the front editor plan. So let's say I want to add more languages. So I go here to the settings area and you have to do this twice. So let's say I want to add German and also I want to add French. And also let's prove also the Arabic. And I will say just to show that it's also the from the right to left. And you will have to go here as well to linguist. You have to do it twice. So this is probably a thing that they will be keep improving. So I have here Arabic, German and French. And I will save the settings. And I will just hit up here update. Let's go here to the language switcher. And you can see here that there are the other added language. So we just click to the language. As you can see here, it's translated into Arabic. If you are an Arabic speaking person. Have it here again. Cut in French. Let's go to the main page. And let's check out German. So let's say here this word Heim 
actually want to say instead of ham is start site and we just save and it's changed also it works with some other seo plugins so let me show you i have here installed rank math so we go here to the main website i will just go to add a little bit of description I have, this is a meta description in other language. So if we go here to the main language, so let's go here first to English. I want to show you. Here is a title. And here is the description. Also, if we go down here, we can check out here that there are the HRE flanks set up with their proper languages and their respective URL. So of for the cell things, we are covering up these with Linguis. And also let's test out just to check out another language. Let's go back to German. We just go to check out that code and as you can see, it's also translated that description. So for also the snippets, they should appear as in other language. Here again, and the alternate lags. So this is Linguis, a really easy to use plugin. It's a good alternative for WPML and Wiglot, Polylang. It's, uh, let's say, the newcomer of the translation plugins for WordPress and also or another platforms such as Joomla, OpenCart, PrestaShop, Magento, and Drupal. Highly recommended, really useful, and easy to set up. If you have some comment questions, don't hesitate to write down on the comments. Thanks for watching.